Hi, I'm Michelle and today I'm going to show you how to empty your bowels in three easy steps so that you can avoid straining when emptying. It's really important to avoid straining when emptying your bowels because repeatedly straining uh, can cause hemorrhoids, prolapse problems and problems with bladder and bowel. So you want to really avoid repeated straining if you can. So let's get started with the correct position to set you up for success with your technique. Let's start, I'm going to turn the side on so that you can see what I'm doing in side position. First step is to take your feet apart. So the feet need to be wide apart, okay? Some people like to use a stool. Now a footstool can elevate your knees higher than your hips, which is a nice position, but it depends on your height and it depends on the height of the, the toilet as well. So if you're a, a shorter person, you might need to use a stool, but uh, I'm fairly tall and I don't need to use a stool to empty the bowel. So it's up to you and depending on your height. So you don't need to necessarily use a stool, you could use a couple of toilet rolls wrapped to lift your knees if you need to. So feet are apart, hands supported on your knees and leaning your body forward. Really important to maintain the inward curve in your lower back throughout the whole movement and keep your spine straight throughout. So feet flat, legs apart, straight spine and upper body supported are the key things. Now, here are your three steps and this is the Moo technique. When you start, start by taking three or four relaxed deep breaths and when you breathe, breathe into your tummy. So I'd like you to breathe in, breathe into your belly and relax the breath. And again, breathe in right down to the base of your lungs let your belly bulge forward and relax. Let's do a couple more of, more of those, breathing in and out. And sometimes just the breathing itself can help you get started with the bowel movement, helping to relax the pelvic floor. One more time, breathing in and out. Now the second part, step two, is to make your waist wide. Now your pushing power comes from the sides, the muscles around the side of the trunk, not down through the bottom. Okay, so we don't want to push down, we want to actually make our pressure come from the sides. So to do this, we make the sound mmm. So if you say mmm, you'll find that the sides push wide. If you can feel that, you can feel that beneath your ribcage, mmm, you'll feel that pressure there. So make the mmm sound. Then step three is to make the ooh sound. And when you say ooh, your tummy bulges forward at the same time. The importance of that is when your lower tummy bulges forward, it opens up the anal sphincter and helps to release the pelvic floor muscles, which allow the stool to pass. If you're pulling your tummy in and pushing down, your anal sphincter will tighten up. So you need to sit tall, Mm, waist wide, so I'm imagining myself nearly like a barrel as I bulge my tummy forward, ooh, and hold both the mm, ooh throughout. If you need to push further, mm, again to push further, keep pushing and then release. Now I'm obviously holding my side here. You'd be leaning forward with that technique, supporting your trunk. At the end of the movement, lift and squeeze through your pelvic openings to finish off the movement altogether. So we've gone through the three steps there and in addition to setting up your correct technique, relaxed breathing for starters, then saying mmm and then ooh. So I really hope this technique helps you to empty your bowels at home. If you're still having problems with your emptying, you might find that the stool is too hard and you can watch my video uh, linked up above uh, for foods that actually help to keep the stool soft. Otherwise, thanks so much for watching today. I really hope this video helps you. You can subscribe below for more of my videos and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.